CRISPR-Cas is a fairly simple system. It's just a protein and a guide RNA. So because of that simplicity, it's much more easy to customize. And because of that easy customization, it can be used for high throughput methods. So it's also this really fundamental tool to study DNA and expression. Now that it's been found to work, been shown to edit DNA, many labs are trying to aim for more therapeutic solutions using CRISPR-Cas. I went to the CRISPR Frontiers conference hosted by Cold Spring Harbor Labs this summer. It was a very cool experience for me because it was my first CRISPR conference, so I got to learn just a ton of different things. It was a series of short talks from top leaders in the field, and it covered everything from studying bacteriophages and transposons all the way up to translational research. Some of the cool things that I got from that conference were actually just getting an overview of the field and where it's at. Several talks focused on trying to find smaller Cas variants. The reason for this is viruses like AAV, they have a relatively small payload and Cas is just very large. So even though Cas9 was the first and you know kind of best of its class, it might not be the one that leads to therapeutic solutions in the future. I got to hear talks about Cas11 and 8 and all these versions that were engineered to be smaller or people that are taking a different approach and doing really large genetic screens of naturally occurring casts, all trying to find the smaller cast. Hopefully that's smaller, more efficient, and everyone's working to really optimize that with the idea that they can use this with some sort of AAV mediated delivery. Another section of talks was taking the sort of opposite approach to that problem. If we can't get a smaller cast, can we deliver a larger payload? The Hunter Fraser Lab from Stanford, they deposited a series of crispy bar plasmids, which is a barcoding system to track the bacterial genome as it's influenced by the environment. So with the crispy bar system, they're able to track thousands of genetic variants, all under different growth conditions. Finally, the Basic, Bot, Bintu, and Su Labs deposited a set of large serine recombinases which can deliver really large payloads, such as the CRISPR-Cas system. CRISPR has been around now for about 10 years, which sounds like a long time, but in research, that's actually a very short amount of time. So there's just a lot of new discovery still going on. 